This is where all the Nostalgia Critic episodes were filmed years ago. You got it, bucko. They kept everything the same to preserve its history. But look at all the reviews that they did. There's Shrek. There's Schindler's List Saves Christmas. And that one. But this, this is what I really wanted to show you. Is that the DVD from the Balto Review, Aunt Despair? Yep, and I was there when it was shot. Gasp! You mean it's a true story? It's based. It's based on a true story. Wow! Would you mind telling me the tale, Aunt Despair? Up uh, after I have a sip of my storytelling sauce. Oh, the same sauce that makes you good at slow-mo leapfrog with men? Our story begins on the Nostalgia Critic sitting down at the desk he normally does. Hello, I'm the Nostalgia Critic. I remember it so you don't have to. Whether it does or doesn't, we're not going to get any movies about heroic cat sleds, are we? Hey, I resent that! Ha! <laughs> <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. There's talking animals in this? Sure, why not? I thought you said this was a true story. Based. Based. Did you just hallucinate that there were talking animals? Possible. I just added nicotine patches to my daily smoking, so I'm feeling a little queasy. I'm gonna lay down. But what about the story? Okay. Are you gonna shut up, or are you gonna keep being Little Miss YouTube comments? Okay, I'm sorry. That's better. <laughs> That's a good high. Anyways, the critic started his review. <laughs> Let's take a look at Balto. <laughs> yeah, you know dogs really are the worst with directions. It's like when I let my dog drive. All right, just back out nice and smooth. Wait a minute, he let a dog drive? I guess. This true story of yours doesn't seem to make very much sense. Why would anybody let a dog drive? Shouldn't it be the human who's doing the driving? Look, I'm telling this story to a kid. Of course I'm gonna take some creative liberties, because I think you're dumb. Well, how much of your story is actually true? The critic continues his review oh talking about when one of the dogs gets the bad news. Hey, do you have any nicotine patches? No, and what the hell are you doing here? Well, I've been coughing up a lung on your couch. I figured if I was lightheaded, I wouldn't mind so much. Why are you sleeping on my couch? It's a nice couch. Get out of here! Dude! That's your only contribution to the story? Just laying in bed and coughing? Maybe. Well, how did you know that any of this was going on then? You weren't there, you didn't see it, and the majority of it sounds unimpressively made up. Look, kid, what am I supposed to say here? And then I looked at the ceiling longer. And then I coughed 87 more times. I've got to embellish. Is any of this story true? Come on, is it so hard to believe that I was lost, passed out, and annoying people? I guess that's a good point. Speaking of which, go get me some gin from the fridge. I'm gonna see how many shots it takes to forget your name. In fact, there was such a hatred for Balto getting all the credit that him and his owner weren't even welcome to the award ceremony in New York for Seppala and Togo. This was all bullshit, wasn't it? Well, there was an incredible review done entirely by the Nostalgia Critic. Ah, there it is. <gasps> About time I filmed the sucker. Wait a minute, Nostalgia Critic is still alive and he hasn't even filmed the review yet? Well, no. Random kid, I was just about to, but I had to get the script from my brother. You see, I was sick, so he wrote the majority of it this week. Oh my god. So we're not even in the future, are we? You're a special kid, aren't you? But what about the text that says we are? Oh, that's just my satanic arts. You lied! You lied about practically everything! Okay, look. Maybe everything didn't happen like I said. Maybe credit was given to the wrong person. And maybe like 98% of what you heard was false. But did you have fun? I guess. Was it corny but beautiful at times? I suppose. And did you know anything at all about these dog saving kids before I told you? Not really. Well then, for pulling most of this out of my ass, I'd say we had a pretty entertaining time. Well, I never thought of it like that. Hey, Critic, what did you think of Balto, by the way? Basically that. Oh, wow. Maybe there's more truth to fiction than I thought. Actually, there isn't. That was just a huge coincidence. Speaking of which, why did you bring her here to begin with? Oh, I just wanted to leave her here so I didn't have to tell her that both parents died from double erotic asphyxiation. Well, that backfired. She's all yours, critic. What kept you? A child's mind is very delicate. Floor it! <laughs> Don't worry. I know a certain long-faced, balding, big-toothed comedian who would love to take care of you. 
Oh. <laughs> She's all yours, Chester. Ah! 